Hi, I'm Sarah from the upcoming. It's such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Um, maybe just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible film for people who aren't familiar with it. What can they expect? Oh, that's a good question. Um, a, a lot, I'd say. I'd say the film is both, you know, a very, very relevant, hard-hitting film that explores a lot of issues surrounding 21st century culture. It is also a beautiful depiction of, in my opinion, the classical music industry, which has never happened before. Um, so I'm really delighted about that. It's also very funny at times, very scary at times. You know, it's kind of a, it's got it all really. So yeah, go and see it in the cinemas, go. <laughs> I guess I would say. Um, I actually only saw it just this morning, so I'm still kind of processing it. I it's mean, it's like... absolutely, yeah, phenomenal um, and very original and very immersive, very intense. Um, but being your first uh, experience, I believe, in front of a camera, um, yeah. what was it like being on the other side of that? And was it as intense as as it is to watch, to, 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 to be making it? I mean, um, we were in Berlin... And Dresden, we filmed all those scenes with the Dresden Philharmonic. But I mean, it was a, a crazy experience for sure. Um, I didn't quite understand what I'd gotten myself into until I actually turned up to set um, to to film. And then I saw my name on the wall as like number four of the cars. <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh. And then, you know, obviously we started filming and I felt very challenged both musically and then also because of all the acting but I mean we had so much fun and the the casting crew was so much fun to work with and also extremely talented and skilled and I just admire everyone so much I was always on set way too long just trying to soak it all in um and yeah it was a uh, we basically shot enough stuff for a five hour long film. So um, it was it was a very intense shooting schedule. Yeah, so it was a bit difficult to keep up a, a cello practice <laughs> routine to say the least, but yeah. Mm. And um, the fact that you know, you're, you're a cellist yourself and indeed still studying and carving out your career in that respect. I guess this role in some ways seems tailor-made for you, um, but she is a mysterious character and kind of elusive. And throughout the film, you know, it's not made clear exactly what her intentions are. Is she kind of young and naive, but very ambitious? Or, or is she kind of calculating and manipulative? You know, when you read that script, what did you see in her that perhaps you could relate to? Uh, and in which ways do you think you really differ? And how did you try and get under the skin of her? I mean, I'm just very lucky in that I got to I got to work with Todd, who is an extremely collaborative director and spent a long time kind of talking to me as to what Olga's thoughts and feelings were or, yeah, you know, her her backstory or her hopes and dreams um and I'd say things like having the dialect really helped looking so different as well um but uh I'd say we're very very different characters I'd say we both kind of um I'd say she uh oh it's a really tough one to answer but I'd say that she um she doesn't ever worry about consequences and she's not always very socially aware about what her actions or words um, kind of, or how they affect others. Um, so that kind of carelessness was so much fun to to play. But I definitely say we're both very driven and uh, motivated and ambitious people and um, always trying to do everything to a very high level and... Um, yeah try to trying to um achieve our dreams although maybe by slightly different um tactics but yeah it was a it was a lot of fun to play someone who was very very different to me um yeah it was great <laughs> and for your first you know role of this nature to be acting opposite Kate Blanchett mm -hmm. and not only just her as an actress but you know in one of I think her best ever performances I mean it's absolutely mind-blowing what she achieves on yeah. screen and, and indeed the camera's trained on her so much um, and what she puts in to the role and the nuance she brings to it I mean what was it like working with her and seeing that performance come to life? I mean just incredibly inspiring and she's so lovely and supportive 
on top of it all. I mean, she was always so encouraging. Um, and she, it was a lot of, or well, it was extremely interesting to learn a lot about acting from her. And I just asked if I could kind of come to set early or stay a bit later just so I could um, observe um, the other actors acting their scenes. It was very much in the beginning because I was still kind of getting to grips with it all. Um, and I don't know, they just made me feel extremely safe and welcome. And sometimes we'd do some improvised stuff or she'd surprise me to keep it natural and kind of real. But I mean... I just felt like I was in very safe hands in a way. And um, yeah, it was incredibly inspiring to work with her. And it just made it all the better that everyone was just so kind and um, considerate. Uh, so yeah, it was a really lovely working environment, mm -hmm. um, but still very surreal. I mean, like when I first met her, I was just, she held out her hand and said, hi, I'm Kate. And you're just like, I know why. But the fact that she even just introduced herself was just so lovely. And she was always, organizing lovely things for everyone on on set if we worked over time or something you know she's just such a gracious and kind person so yeah amazing <laughs> you know the kind of authenticity um and the fact that you know I believe you know you're playing the cello there live and that's the recording that's used in the film and, and, and on the soundtrack and then of course you know Kate having to have learned to be a conductor and there's no body double involved um you know what were some of the hardest things to shoot was that scene maybe one of the hardest and you know what what was that experience like oh for sure I mean the thing is is the film industry is always there's a huge amount of time pressure so we didn't have many rehearsals if any um and so kind of getting that all together with a very time yeah uh, time pressure on schedule as well as in we didn't have very many takes in which to get the scenes um, that was really challenging and like you mentioned it's all live takes so that's also kind of an added fear because no one ever does that things are always edited in post-production even with um, you know some of the world's greatest orchestras they they all kind of edit their concerts after it's just kind of standard but Todd really wanted to capture the kind of authenticity and rawness and messiness of rehearsal because you know it's a process film um and so coming to terms with that and accepting that he wanted that messiness was you know quite scary for me because I've always wanted to put stuff out there that's of a really high standard um but I really think we made it work it was just also very interesting to play a character who plays the cello so different to me differently to me I mean Todd would always sit me down before we were about to record and say, so I want you to do this shift like this, or I want you to take longer time here. And I hadn't practiced it like that. So then knowing that I'd be recording it and that that kind of version would be out there in the world forever, that was also very daunting, but a real kind of baptism of fire as to how to be very professional in very difficult situations quite early on in my career, I'd say. And this was coming from a time where you know, in the pandemic, we hadn't had in-person cello lesson, cello lessons for a year and a half. And there was no one, no teacher there or coach telling me whether it sounded OK out in the hall. I kind of just had to go, OK, I can do this. <laughs> just go for it. But yeah, I mean, I grew so much as a result of it. So, yeah, I, uh, I feel very lucky that I got to be included in this amazing project and work with these amazing actors, directors, crew musicians it's just insane really hard to top I would say <laughs> and just very quickly it's almost out of time you know thinking of the key issues that are kind of raised through it and it does touch on cancel culture and you know predatory behavior um but it's also really interesting because it is a world that we haven't seen on screen much and there's something about it that's flipped on its head because it is very female focused we used to perhaps hearing about you know male um heads of of, of you know uh, whether that's whichever industry kind of abusing their power but this is a woman um so what do you think some of the key issues that come out of it and why is that so fascinating to look at i mean i think the main thing is that you know power affects all of us not just men and it's very interesting to see it explored through the you know eye of a woman where maybe it's not so stereotypical and I think 
the decision behind this was just to try and make the audience sit up and listen, you know, not go, oh, here we go again. Here's another story about, you know, something that's stereotypically um, from a man's perspective. Um, yeah, like I said, we're the movie is a exploration of power and how it affects people both positively and negatively. And unfortunately, no gender is immune to that. Um, but yeah, it, I can't quite remember whether you wanted me to touch on any other issues as well, or if it was just more like that one. Yeah, or, you know, how prevalent that is kind of in particularly the classical world, um, you know, as an industry, you know, how different that might, you know, perhaps hashtag me too hasn't caught up with yeah. that. And there are still those issues there. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I, I'm very glad that I'm growing up now and not 20 years ago, but there's the Independent Society of Musicians released a study right when the film was being released in the US showing that racism, sexual harassment and bullying is at all time low in the classical music industry. And so, yeah, I think the release of the film was very timely because it brings to light a lot of the issues that we face. But this isn't to say that this doesn't happen in other industries as well, because it really does. Um, but I, I just think it's great that we're starting to have all these discussions because change doesn't come without discussion. And that's what we're doing. So um, it makes me really pleased because that's the whole reason why we made the film was to kind of, yeah, we wanted people to go away and discuss all of it. So, yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> but, Thank yeah. you so much. I'm out of time, but it's been wonderful to chat to you and congratulations you. again on this incredible film and a phenomenal performance. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.